One could have even thought that that was going to be the end for Germany. I was literally screaming in my room. We had the feeling that it was possible for France to make it. Quarter final of the World Cup, France Germany. For me, maybe the best ever football match in a women World Cup that I've ever seen. It was incredible. Dramatic and electric atmosphere. Five years later, as we're talking about it now. Germany is always a favorite. When you know that you're going to play against Germany, it's always complicated. They had uh, quite a good pool of uh, talented players and tough as well. We knew that uh, France has a chance because France managed to make three good games in the group phase. I think that the team that we had was spectacular. But when the game arrived, it was, of course, the kind of final already. This game was like really, really tense. France also uh, started the game very well. It has been the first time in my life that I've seen the French team able to uh, dominate the German team. You know, they could have even gone 2-0 up already with the chances that they have thrown away. Here's Messi! Oh, what a chance! My goodness! It's true that uh, after the first half, you had the feeling that something was possible for Les Bleus. And uh, when uh, Luisa Nessib managed to score... Here's Nessib, deflection and in! Luisa Nessib, the golden girl! I was literally screaming in my room. One could have even thought that um, that was going to be the end for, for Germany. Uh, we had the feeling that it was possible for France to make it. Minute after minute, we had the feeling that they will do it. And, of course, something happened. Oh, penalty! Penalty against France and Abelie. Uh, Ahmed Majri touched this ball in the box with the hand, and we see the, the ref giving a penalty. Passage in the 84th minute with a chance to level it up. Sasic scores! Huge relief for Germany! One more time, Germany's power, they never give up, and uh, at the moment, the game has changed. So it is extra time. As many thought it would be tight, Serbia Knights team distinctly second best. Even during the, the extra time, Gaetan Tine had a great, great opportunity. She was alone at the second post and she missed the goal. Uwaba, and it's a chance! Oh, it's wide! It's a great player. She was so close up the goal and I don't know why she missed the target. It, it was maybe the best opportunity for France to go through and that time it didn't happen. We've had the two extra minutes now. It's penalties. We've reached the, the penalties. I was like, oh no, I can't watch that, I can't watch that. German, they have everything from top to bottom. And um, when it comes to shootouts, without a doubt, Nadine Angara was always there. They knew that with Nadine Angara uh, as a goalkeeper, it would be very, very complicated. And unfortunately, it's uh, Claire Lavoge, a young player. She has to score to keep France in the competition. Who saves? And Germany are through to the semi-finals. After that, that was done. Surely ended 5-4. I will never forget this young player, 19 years old, missing the last penalty and crying on the field. The image is so strong. It's like she's biting uh, the, the jersey of Jessica Wara. It brought me to tears. Nadine Angara proved to be, you know, the hero. They, they fought so hard. They they believed in it until the very last minute. They were all fighters on that day. Maybe this story, this day, will make the future uh, success of the French team because it's in this kind of game that you learn a lot and that you you can become strong for the for the future.